All right, Shalom, Malkim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Recha Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. And I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and who've taught us this truth through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Bashem Shai, and honors and citations to the elect doctrine doing these works of sincerity and truth. So I'm going to play this clip from the apostles. And, and then I'm gonna get into my lesson. And you know, it's the spirit. I was planning on doing this lesson any anyhow. And then, you know, the you know, the apostle said it. So I'm gonna use it, you know, as a as a as a, as an intro as well. You see, I used to say I yeah. ate. Yep. And I've seen them change on you, and you feel it, you feel it now. You really fully understand that. Well, he ain't aching no more. He, he's like an old line. And you say it. Now, Mosai, have mercy on him, put that spur back on him. Time. You know? Rouse him up. And the Mosai can do that. Yeah. I can't say who's going to make it and who's not going to make it. That's it. So we, 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 I'm, looking, I'm looking to save my own ass. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you worked out your own salvation with fear and trouble. Yeah. 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 Right. So, you know, I'm feeling... This is where uh, humility comes in. Um... Isaiah 66 and 15. All right. <clears throat> Which I'm going to get into that script, the exact scripture that um Apostle Aramlab quoted, man. You know? Because, yeah, Khan, I was, I was actually uh, meditating on this earlier, man. You know? Well, uh, it was like a thought that popped in my head. That, look, man, we in this thing for ourselves, man. You know? Even as Apostle Tahar just said, we, we are in this truth looking to save our own ass, man. You know? That's why we do these works, man. All right? That's why we do these works. That's why we go out there in season and out of season, man. That's why we go out there, period, man. That's why we keep the faith of Yahweh Bashem Shai. That's why we pray, you know. That's why we fast. Uh, you know, that's why we give tithes. Because scriptures say, uh, um, um, uh, um, alms make it for an atonement of sins, man. You know? And it compared it to as water, to as a huge fire. And every time you, you know, give you give your alms, or, or give tithes or help the brethren. It's like taking a huge bucket of water and and dumping it on your uh dumping it on that fire, man. You know, so that's why we do that. That's why we study the show ourselves approved. Blesses he that readeth. That's why we read. You know, that's why we do. That's why we do everything that we do, man. All right, because at the end of the day, we hope and we pray, man. All right, that we can obtain salvation, attain a spot on that chariot, man. Obtain protection in the day of Jacob's trouble, okay, and, and and obtain a spot in the kingdom of heaven, man, which is gonna be on earth. That's why we do all this, man. So it's not about we don't. It's not about and we don't do it for views, you know. That's why views doesn't really matter. We don't do it for views. We don't do it for a, a vain glory, okay. We don't do it because it's just something to do, something to be a part of. We wasn't shit in the world, and now, whoa, this is, you know what I'm saying? I could climb ranks here, you know, like some camps do, all right? We don't do it for, for numbers, okay? We don't do it for money, to receive money, but we do it to cover our own ass and that we can have our a chance at salvation for ourselves, man. So Philippians 2 and 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You see? So we each have to work out our own salvation, man. Alright? So all the works that we do is to work out our own salvation, man. I can't live off of this man works. This man can't live off of his works. No, man, we each living off of our own works, your own works that you do and your own belief and faith in the Bashmasha that you have is for your own benefit, man. OK, so that's why brothers stay doing it. That's why brothers be doing the lessons. All right. Whether it gets no views, whether it gets a billion views, man. We don't do it for no vainglory or nothing. We do it so that we can so, because we're working on our own salvation, man. All right. So whether you doing this thing and, and, you know, you don't get a lot of views, it doesn't matter because that's still you working out your salvation, man. That's that's heavy, man. That's 
You know, that's beautiful, man. That's part of it. That's part of it, man. That's why it's very important to do these works. And, and, and I'm going to hit you with something else, you know. <laughs> like brother be saying, man. I'm going to hit you with something else. Acts 16 and 30. Acts 16 and 30 says, And brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? All right. We should, we should all know this story. Verse 31. And they said, Believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. Damn. See that? So, not only are you working out your own salvation, it may be, if it's your Yahweh Shai's will, that you even have your household on your back with you, man. Okay? So this man can't save him and his household and his children. He can only save him and his children, man. And his Eve or whatever. Alright? So, not only are you working out your own salvation, you're, if it be the Lord's will, working out the salvation for your family as well, man. Okay? See that? So that's why it's important to what, do these works, man. Okay? This, like I said, this man can't save uh, um, his household. If something happens to him, then uh, his household will come up under this man's wing or something, man. Nah, it don't even work. If you if you ain't working out your own salvation, man, all right, then hey, your, your household is through too. You see that, man? All right, house meaning what? Your family, man. So, um, because, yeah, again, I'll read it. And they said, Believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. I'm going to keep reading, verse 32. And they spake unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in his house. See, so your house even got to be some way decent. Verse 33. And he took them the same hour of the night, and watched their stripes, and was baptized. He... And all his straightway. And when he had brought them into his house, he set meat before them and rejoiced, believing in the Most High with all his house. See? So all your house has to believe, though, too, man. All right? Can't just save no, no, oh, niggas, or, you know what I'm saying? You ain't just gonna save no niggas or, or, or nothing like that, man. All right? But guess what? When, hey, you know, Apostle Tahar brought out the scripture. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, not necessarily meaning that it's going to be, you know, which he went into, not always necessarily mean that that's going to be a bad thing. Okay? As far as it's going to be too late, and they're going to be destroyed. No, some are going to be willing in the day of thy power, and they're going to, and that's going to be unto their salvation, man. You know, the 11th hour Israelites, like we call them. You know, so that can be of your family, of your household as well. But in order for you to even achieve that power, those spiritual powers, to even give them a chance, you have to work out your own salvation, man. Alright? You know? So, I'm going to get them. Um, now I'm going to jump to a second. Edges 7 and verses 6. It says, There is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. It's full of all good things, man. All right? There's no wickedness. All right? This is talking about the kingdom of heaven, man. There's no wickedness. There's nothing but good here. All right? Everything is good. Everything is perfect. Everything's going to be great, man. Amazing. But verse 7, the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. So one slip. And that's your ass, man. <laughs> and you know, you know, going hiking... All right, climbing, hiking the mountains and stuff. You got a lot of Edomites that try and be cool, try and show off, and they get real close to the ledge. Dude, if you slip off that, that's your ass, man. That's your ass. You know? <laughs> so, you know, you know, you can see how serious, you know, that is, man. All right, you keep slipping up. Well, the script said, just men fall seven times and get back up. You know, but um, 
you can easily fall out, man, because I'll continue to read. So it's like, as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep border, and one only path between them both. Dang. Even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. You see that? So this path, each man has to walk his own path. Each man has to walk this path on his own, man. Okay? There's no holding hands. You know? You can't live off of his work. He can't live off of your work. You have to work out your own salvation, man. You have to you have to earn your own spot on the chariot, man. By what? By doing these works and believing. Okay? So verse 9. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? And what's that danger? Ultimately, um, Esau, what he plans to do, his, uh, his uh, Esau's troops, all right, two-thirds, uh, demonization, okay, uh, forcing us to even be a pilgrim upon the earth, all right, Jacob's trouble. We have to pass all these negative and crazy things to receive that kingdom, man. I actually had a dream, you know, about two nights ago that, um, here it is, uh, uh, um, and, and I'm, in, I'm in like a room, okay, pretty much at work, and the TV came on, and the, it was the news, and we was on the news, and I was looking at my own self in my garment, <laughs> prophesying on the TV, and I was looking at it like, oh, I kind of wanted to stand in front of it, like, oh, shit, I kind of wanted to t change the channel, like, damn, I didn't want them to see me, you know, but I was watching it with like co-workers and shit, and it was like, yo, I was like, yo, is that you? It was like, is that you? And then that was it, man. That was the dream right there. So, see, these are some of the dangerous things, all right? These are some of the dangerous things that we have to pass in order to get to that to the kingdom, man. All right? Just for an example. So, this is, um, I'm going to jump over to um Colossians. So, all right, man, you know? Colossians chapter 5. Yeah, um, Colossians chapter two verse five. Because um, yeah, man, like I said, you know, like the scriptures say, we 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 working out our own salvation, man. All right. At the end of the day, like I said, we do these lessons. We go out there in the highways and byways, in season, not a season. To to get to get ourselves stronger, man. All right. We come together as one, as a brotherhood. That's a beautiful thing. But at the end of the day, you in it for yourself, man. Okay. You doing this to save your own ass. Okay? And if it be the Lord's will, even your own household, man. Okay? So, we, we doing this thing yeah, to save our own ass and to strengthen ourselves. Alright? Colossians 2 and 5 says, For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order. Damn. Yeah, we got order, man. Hey man, you know, the most order man is from from GMS man. All right, because here it is, you got these camps. You know they come together, they bring their whole families, babies crying. You know what I'm saying? Well, you're trying to learn babies crying, you're getting embarrassed, woman there causing confusion. Look man, GMS got that order man. All right, it says in the steadfastness of your faith in Hamashiach. Says, as ye have therefore received Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai the Lord, so walk ye in him. Rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. You see? So we, we do these works, alright? To work out our own salvation and to let our our own per it's like it's like it's like we each trees man and you gotta let your roots grow even stronger and stronger and deeper and deeper and deeper in the soil because why now when the storm comes in like a flood all right you know when the water shall come in like a flood a matter of fact let me jump over to um right 
So I said, oh, I'm mad about none of that. None of that, man. None of that. None of that excessive extra bullshit matters, man. You know? You got scoffers. Vocab one time, at one point, Vocab said, um, what? It's like, you gotta, res what do you say? Like, what? You gotta respect this guy. He had, like, he has, like, 2,000 subscribers. You know? Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me, bro? You know what I'm saying? He says something like that. So something like that, roughly paraphrasing him. But, dude, 2,000 subscribers don't isn't working out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. All right? That 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 doesn't that doesn't mean anything, man. So this is um right because we have to be rooted and built up in him. Right? So this is a uh, Luke chapter 6 verses 46. It says, "And why call ye me Lord, Lord, <laughs> and do not the things which I say?" Damn. Yeah, how was shy speaking? It says, "Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like." He is like a man which built in house and dig deep. See? You got to let your roots go deep, man. Why? It says, and laid the foundation upon a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house. Meaning violently. And could not shake it. For it was founded upon a rock. You see that? And the same thing with like a tree. When the tree's root is super thick. And go all the way deep into the ground. When that when a storm comes, a hurricane comes. Well, when it leaves as well, the tree is still there. Some trees get ripped up out the ground. But this tree is so rooted and strong, it's still there, man. Alright? And that's why we do these works. So we can be like, like unto that, man. Okay? Which is what, again, which is going into working out our own salvation. So we do this thing for ourselves, all right. Um, we ended off with this. We ended off with this right here. Another reason, just proving why we do this thing for ourselves, why we do so much works, you know, and so forth, and why none of that other bullshit matters. This is a Psalms eighteen and uh, twenty. It says, Yahweh by Shimei Shai, the Lord. Rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands, hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my power. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was upright before him, and I kept my and I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanliness of my hands in his eyesight. See? It says, With the merciful, thou wilt show thyself merciful. With an upright man, thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure, thou wilt show thyself pure. And with the froward, thou wilt show thyself froward. Okay? For that will save the afflicted people, but will bring down the high looks. For that will light my candle. Yahweh Shah, my power will enlighten my darkness. Mm. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my power have I leaped over a wall. As for as for the Most High, His way is perfect; the word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in Him. For who is the most? For who is the power? Save the Lord. Well, who is a rock? Save all power. See? This is a bad chapter, man. Alright? But you see the point? Okay? You see the point, man? Alright? That the Lord is going to reward us according to our righteousness, man. Meaning, according to our works. According to our faith. According to us keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability. Alright? How Bashim Asha is going to reward us, man. Not according to views, the views you get, the X amount of subscribers you got, okay? Uh, um, the, the number of people you got in your camp. Alright, man. Alright. 
So, this is uh, Psalms chapter 18. Uh, continue on, Psalms 18 and 32. It says, It is the Most High that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. And that's Satan, man. Calling me, man. In the middle of the lesson, man. It says, It is the Most High that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. Alright, but yeah, that's pretty much it, man. You know? But, um... I mean, not, I mean, it still goes on, but I'm, I'm going to end it off right there, man. You know? So, hey, in conclusion, you know you know what it is, man. All right? We do we, 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 we do these works, man, for our work on our own salvation. All right? To get rooted within ourselves for the day of Jacob's trouble and to earn our reward from Yahweh by Shem Al All right? So, really, we in this thing for ourselves, man. All right? But we come together as one, as the brotherhood, man. You know, so with that, shall I